The world as we know it has certainly made leaps and bounds thanks to incredible inventions and discoveries. However, most inventions that we know and can't live without weren't intentionally planned. In fact, a lot of things we know and can't live without were actually discovered by mistake. Well, that's what we're here to talk about today as we're going to go over seven great inventions and discoveries that were created by mistake. 7. Corn Flakes now, we know this one doesn't seem that interesting, but trust us when we say that the story behind its invention is very, very strange. So we think it's pretty safe to say that Dr. John Kellogg and his brother Keith would have fit right into today's world of new agey health fads. But in 1894, they were probably the laughing stocks of the time, as they would put visitors at their hospital and health spa in Battle Creek, Michigan, through very strange health regimens, including abstaining from meat, alcohol, tobacco, and even sex. Yes, the invention of cornflakes came from being abstinent from fornication. We told you it was going to be strange. One of the major parts of this lifestyle regimen was eliminating caffeine by using a coffee substitute made from a type of granola. After cooking some wheat, the men were called away, as happens when you're running a busy sanatorium. When they came back, the wheat had become stale. However, they still decided to force it through the rollers anyway. Instead of coming out in long sheets of dough, each wheat berry flattened and came out as a thin flake. The brothers baked the flakes and boom, a new breakfast cereal fad was born. Again, who would have thought that something that was supposed to help people abstain from meat, alcohol, and sex would end up to be the delicious part of a well-balanced breakfast? 6. Microwaves The microwave needs no introduction. It's one of the standard appliances in most American households. But despite how every home has one and has had one for many years, the microwave has only been around since the late 1940s. In 1945, while doing research for the Raytheon Corporation, Percy Spencer was experimenting with a new vacuum tube called a magnetron. Apparently, he was intrigued when the candy bar in his pocket began to melt, so he tried another experiment with popcorn. When it began to pop, Spencer almost immediately knew that he had struck gold as he saw the potential in this revolutionary process. In 1947, Raytheon built the first microwave oven, the Radar Range. Despite this revolutionary invention being brought to life, it wasn't exactly something that could logistically be put into full production for the widespread consumer market. Why is that, you ask? Well, for starters, the radar range weighed 750 pounds, was five and a half feet tall, and cost around $5,000. Nevertheless, it still went into full-scale production and was sold to the masses. When the radar range first became available for home use in the early 1950s, its bulky size and expensive price tag made it unpopular with consumers. But in 1967, a much more popular 100-volt countertop version was introduced at a price of $495. 5. Penicillin Probably one of the greatest discoveries in modern science, here we have penicillin. The story about its discovery is a well-documented one as the main takeaway from the story itself is the fact that its discovery was a complete and utter accident. In his laboratory in the basement of St. Mary's Hospital in London, Alexander Fleming noticed a petri dish containing Staphylococcus that had been mistakenly left open, was contaminated by blue-green mold from an open window, which as noted by Fleming himself formed a visible growth. On top of this, there was also a halo of inhibited bacterial growth around the mold. Fleming concluded that the mold released a substance that repressed the growth and caused lysing or breaking down of the membrane of a cell of the bacteria. Unfortunately, scientists now suspect that Fleming's story of the initial discovery of the antibacterial properties of the penicillin mold is inaccurate and even false. With scientific advancements since this discovery and a more well-rounded understanding of how the bacteria and the mold interact, scientists know that if bacteria were already present on the petri dish, they would have inhibited the growth of the mold and Fleming would not have noticed any mold on the plate at all. According to several scientists, the more likely story is that a spore from a laboratory one floor below, run by C.J. Latouche, was transferred to Fleming's petri dish before the bacteria were added. 
At the time of the initial discovery, Latouche was working with the same mold found in Fleming's Petri dish. So despite the conflicting stories, penicillin was still indeed found by mistake and has done wonders for modern medicine since its discovery. 4. The Pacemaker Who would have thought being a klutz would lead to this amazing discovery? So Wilson Greatbatch made a classic dumb move by pulling the wrong part out of a box of equipment. It was a major act of idiocy that became a major part in what would save millions and millions of lives. In 1956, Great Batch was working on building a heart rhythm recording device at the University of Buffalo. He reached into a box and pulled out a resistor of the wrong size and plugged it into the circuit. When he installed it, he recognized a rhythmic sound that is very reminiscent to that of the human heart beating. The beat, according to his 2001 obituary in the New York Times, reminded him of chats he had had with other scientists about whether an electrical stimulation could make up for a breakdown in the heart's natural beats. It's crazy to think how drastically the size of these devices has changed in such a short space of time, as before then, pacemakers were hulking machines the size of old CRT TVs. Great Batch's implantable device of just two cubic inches forever changed life expectancy in the world. Now, more than half a million of the devices are implanted every year. Who'd think that such a mistake could end up saving millions of lives? 3. Chocolate Chip Cookies Ruth Wakefield, God bless your soul for finding this amazing discovery, as it truly was world-changing. Ruth Wakefield, owner of the Toll House Inn, was just trying to make regular chocolate cookies. But while mixing a batch of the cookies, Wakefield discovered she was out of baker's chocolate. So instead of going to the shop to buy more, she broke up sweetened chocolate into small pieces and added them to the cookie dough as a substitute. She expected the chocolate to melt, making chocolate cookies, but the little bits stuck. Truly one of the greatest and most delicious discoveries we as humans have ever made. 2. Coca-Cola This one is a fairly interesting discovery, as Coca-Cola was originally invented to be a replacement morphine commonly used in hospitals by people who suffer from immense pain. While serving as Lieutenant Colonel, John Pemberton, who was a pharmacist, was wounded. He got addicted to the morphine used to ease the pain. Because he knew his morphine addiction was getting worse and worse, he started experimenting with coca and coca wines for opium-free alternatives, eventually creating his own version of Vin Mariani, containing cola nut and damiana, which he called Pemberton's French Wine Coca. Relying on Atlanta druggist Willis Venable to test and help him perfect the recipe for the beverage, which he formulated by trial and error, it eventually included blending the base syrup with carbonated water by accident when trying to make another glass. Instead of marketing this discovery as a healthier alternative to morphine, Pemberton then decided to instead sell it as a fountain drink. No wonder Coca-Cola is so addicting. 1. Plastics Okay, now if you want to talk about world-changing inventions, nothing is more significant to this world as we know it today than plastic. Think that's an overstatement? Okay, well, do us a favor. Try to imagine a world without plastic and take a look around your home. We guarantee that at least 80% of the items in your home are made from plastic or at least contain it. Not to mention, can you honestly imagine carrying water bottles made of clay? The legend of the discovery of plastic says that were it not for two accidents, those might be the materials we'd be stuck with today. The first of the two stories starts in the lab of Charles Goodyear, who combined rubber and sulfur and accidentally put it on the stove for a period of time. When he came back, he was surprised to find a tough and durable material, created through a process eventually called vulcanization. The second discovery of plastic happened when there was a spill in John Wesley Hyatt's shop. Inspired by a $10,000 contest to find a replacement for elephant ivory in billiard balls, Hyatt accidentally spilled a bottle of Colidian, only to discover that when the liquid eventually dried up, it formed a flexible yet strong material. Unfortunately for him, however, he didn't win the contest, and in all fairness, no other entrant of the contest won either. However, by 1872, his brother Isaiah coined the term celluloid to describe what was becoming the first commercially successful plastic, even used in the first motion picture film used by George Eastman. And that's our list. Did we leave any out that you know about? Let us know in the comments section below. 
Please remember to subscribe and tap the bell button to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like us and subscribe for more elite facts.